everybody and welcome to Blender Babes. I'm Blender Babe Tarashan and I have two special guests here with me today. I have Kathy Patalski from Healthy Happy Life and Sophie Jaffe from The Philosophy. We are going to make a special shake for you guys today. It's from my favorite smoothie cookbook. It's 365 Vegan Smoothies by Kathy. And we're gonna use an extra special secret product that is an optional add-in. Um, philosophy. This is the green dream, which has all kinds of good stuff in it. It's got spirulina, mm -hmm. like Hemp, we all know blue green algae is good maca, for you. Maca. Yeah. So this is really good for like a morning smoothie or something to just like give you a little bit more energy mm -hmm. uh, and not just your regular typical smoothie. So um, it's got lots of good green stuff and superfoods in it. Um, so tell me more about this book though, because I know that like I've made a bunch of stuff from it, but like how did you even come up with 365 smoothies. Well, yes, the, it was actually not my book concept. Uh -huh. They wanted to write a book with 365 vegan smoothies in it, and I had so many smoothie recipes on my blog, mm -hmm. she found me, so it was kind of a great match. And she's like, okay, 365 vegan smoothies. <laughs> did you already have them? started writing. <laughs> did you have 365 like ready to go, or did you have no, to create a bunch I had, more? I had nothing. You know, I I used to work at Jamba Juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. In high school, I've been blending like my entire life. I in the book, I actually tell a funny story about when I was in seventh grade. They said teach the class something you know how to do. And I was like, I'm gonna blend this with me. Awesome. You're a so, blender kid. Yeah, yeah, I brought my blender to, to school and I stole it from my parents' kitchen. <laughs> it's like show and tell. I bet my kids will do that. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna come in with their philosophies yeah. and make yeah. their I smoothie. know how to blend this with yeah. your yoga. Yes. <laughs> um, like, we love berry blends. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet. Well, I'm excited to try this one because I've, I've tried a bunch of them, but I haven't tried this one yet. Our recipe testers did, and they absolutely loved it. That's why we chose it. Um, so I think it's like any kind of milk substitute, right? Yeah, you can use, um, you know, vegan smoothie, any type of plant milk. There's so many out there nowadays. Is this vanilla or unsweetened? I use just um, plain, not vanilla, but slightly, you know, an original is usually a little sweetened. Or you can use unsweetened, either one. If you can use homemade almond milk, that's the best option. Extra I creamy. Say. I made cashew milk the other night. It was so good. Mm. So good. And it's so just easy. soaked cashews in water, yeah. right? For most things. Yeah. 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 There's a pistachio milk that someone made that was really good. Yeah. Same concept, but yeah, it would probably be a good one to do for this one too, the pistachio flavor. Yeah, because it's already green and mm -hmm. you get more green in there. Mm -hmm. We like green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> green smoothies. All right, let's make this sucker. Yes, so this is um, my favorite smoothie recipe. I I was making it every day for like every day for a good few months, maybe <laughs> the whole last year. <laughs> I've kind of gotten away from it a little bit, but I still, I just love it. I use this, it's called the secret ingredient matcha smoothie. And the secret ingredient is actually the frozen watermelon, which I know is not a seasonal, ingredient mm -hmm. year round but mm -hmm. you can usually find it year round so and it has like to be me. frozen yes the yes. trick is that the frozen watermelon is in place of ice so that or it's using a little bit more yes. of ice so that it actually becomes kind of like an ice cream mm. i've used a lot of frozen ingredients and i just find that frozen melon has this very unique frosty texture that i just love makes it smoothie. like real smoothie smoothie yeah. texture yeah it really does something mm -hmm. like that. Give it to me. And then we have the matcha, which you yes. know you you love. Matcha is, if you're not familiar with it, it's ground up green tea leaves. So you're actually ingesting the whole green tea leaf. And we all know green tea is so amazing for you. It has all those antioxidants mm -hmm. and it provides you energy. Um, and it speeds up the metabolism. Yeah, and it's kind of like a sustained energy. Yeah. So I used to be a double, venti coffee girl a day like two times at starbucks a day like literally wow. <laughs> not even joking yeah. that's all that's you could probably buy several blenders <laughs> yeah <Yes. laughs> totally yes and matcha and i first went to chai and then i discovered matcha and matcha has really been my energy replacement for coffee and i i love it it really 
gives me that perk I need without having to be dependent on coffee. A lot of people ask for that, especially during, you know, like cleanses when you're trying to cut caffeine out right. or at least lessen it. And if someone that's drinking that much coffee a, a day, yeah. it's a great option. So yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, I think that, um, I've been trying to cut back on my coffee. I've <laughs> been doing this like bulletproof thing in a vegan version, but um, I don't want to do that all the time. I don't want to always have caffeine like that heavy. So right. this has been something that I'm pretty, pretty excited about trying. And coffee's not bad. It's just when you, you can tell when you feel a little too dependent on it and you want to like cut back a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. Usually so when I start getting a headache <laughs> after mm. I wake up with a headache, I'm like, that's probably not a yeah. good thing. You should have a headache when you're waking up yeah. in that anticipation for the caffeine. Right? Yeah, or you're shaking. <laughs> or that. Or that. Something's wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, I'm excited to try this. Let's yeah. make it. Yeah. So it's really easy. You just want to have your watermelon cubed and frozen ahead of time, and also your banana. You know, I slice up a giant bunch of bananas, toss them in the freezer, mm -hmm. so they're all ready to go in your smoothies. They blend up a lot thicker and creamier than a... But it, it, it makes it more If it's icing. not frozen, you can always add a little bit of ice. Yeah, yeah. you can use a fresh banana, too. Yeah. It's always liquids first to hard stuff in our high hard blenders. So about one to one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. This is almond milk. About one frozen banana. And then this frozen watermelon is what's gonna add that really frosty texture. And I usually do, I usually do like equal parts watermelon to banana. Mm -hmm. But if you want it a little creamier, you can put more banana than the watermelon. If you want it a little like frostier, put more watermelon. I love watermelon season. <laughs> or yeah. pretty much just yeah, melon when season. It's, when it's summertime and you can get like cheap, fresh water. Eat it all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. So hydrating. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of the amazing green dream by this lady here. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to add 10 grams of protein per smoothie, per tablespoon. So she added a tablespoon of about 10 grams of plant based protein super easy to absorb. Yeah, and it's it's bright green, but it's not. It doesn't taste chalky or taste green. Right. It's just a little earthy. Yeah. And then this is the matcha. This is a ceremonial quality. So I have a matcha review on my blog. You can see there is a huge difference in quality between mm. the cheaper matchas and the more expensive ones. Mm -hmm. You definitely get what you pay for, so. That's good to know. About a teaspoon. Do you need any ice? Or are you good? Um, I need a little bit. ice. Never hurt. Yeah. I like some of these like thick. Yeah. You know, some people don't. Some people don't like them cold. Just for you guys. that texture. Nice. You can awesome. smell the banana, which is really Yeah, you nice. can. It's mm. very sweet. And it's all blended mm. and beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. Nice and thick. Mm. It's like it's like a milkshake. Yeah, yeah milkshake. you can see the frostiness mm -hmm. from that watermelon. It's the it's secret ingredient. Yeah, I know, good to know. Yeah. Have to try that. Can't wait. And then <laughs> Woo! What? Hold it with your hands, Kathy. <laughs> Okay. So good. Mm. Wow. It's really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch more. <laughs> it's all about that texture. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the texture, it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. It's nice to have a green smoothie without having to have the greens. Yeah, like I'm, right. sometimes I run yes. out of my greens. And that's spinach what's so great and... about Green Dream is you yeah. can have it on the go with you. I just mm -hmm. keep a small one in my purse, and no matter where I am, even like on the, the plane, the little, the little size. This yeah. is this is a that's a four ounce size. Right? And then you have one that's half There's that. one that's half that size. It's the perfect travel gym bag. Yeah purse kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. Especially on the airplane too. Yeah, because yeah. you can't bring liquids. So you're right. not bringing your smoothie with you. But if you just ask for 
Rub it. Something. Yeah, you got it. Well, check out 365 Vegan Smoothies. We'll put a link there for you guys to look at it online and see if it's something you're interested in adding to your collection. And uh, we're also going to have a Blender Babes promo code on Philosophy, yes. Philosophy products. So check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions or something that you want us to make, just leave them in the comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye. Enter our latest Blender giveaway by visiting blenderbabes.com blender-giveaway.